Hey guys, this is Gina, DNS Baitness Report is current as of Friday the 28th here, I believe it is already. Uh, water temps have cooled down in the last week or so with these cooler temperatures that we've been having and the, all the wind that we had at the beginning of the week kind of kept a lot of the guys off the lakes. They are starting to get back out. Water temps, we're looking at numbers between the upper mid to upper 60s and the low 70s. I'm sure that's going to climb again with the warmer weathers coming in this next week. As far as the fishing goes up here on Lake Mendota, I did hear a little bit of pike action in the last week. Some of the guys trolling some cranks in 20-plus feet of water. Had some pretty good luck a couple of days on, on quite a number of pike up into the mid-30s or so, most of them seem to be. Uh, walleyes, I haven't heard as much walleye action lately. The few that I have heard have been a little on the smaller side recently. They have been getting some nice walleyes on Mendota this summer, uh, just not a lots of them. A few guys have been doing pretty good. As far as the perch action goes, I'm still hearing a little bit of action from some guys along the weed lines. I wouldn't say impressive numbers, but sometimes some pretty good numbers. And uh, the weed edges to fish, still the Warner Bay out by Governor's Island at times, still over on the west side of the lake, uh, Marshall Park, Spring Harbor, Hatch Cover, that area. Kind of just got to hunt up and down those weed edges. And the key is to be close to those weeds, maybe even in pockets in the weeds. I'm still hearing some along that university shoreline down by the Edgewater Motel, a little bit once in a while down towards uh, the Union, even once in a while back in University Bay. But again, the weeds seem to be the key. Smallmouth bass action has been kind of sporadic at times. Seems like they're on fire one day and, and quiet the next day. But the weed edges do seem to be the key on Mendota for those those smallmouth too, I suppose they're keying in maybe on some of those smaller perch. Lake Monona, that bluegill bite has... has um, uh, yesterday I actually talked to some guys that caught quite a few fish, a lot of them on the smaller side, and they were fishing anywhere from uh, 15 feet to 25 foot of water. They were down near the bottom. I have had a couple of guys tell me as the day goes on, lunchtime, that time of the day, the fish do move out and suspend over some deeper water. Uh, if you're out there earlier in the day, you don't find too much, but a little later in the day, it seems like there's quite a few fish. And the bigger ones seem to be running deeper, sometimes 20 feet, 5 feet down out in 50, 60 feet of water. I've heard that a few times in the last week or 10 days. Um, as far as musky action goes, it's kind of sporadic from what I hear. Mendota, or uh, excuse me, Monona and Wabisa uh, continue to be the lakes to fish, but um, the bite seems to be kind of on and off with this weather that we've been having. If you've got any other questions, you can give me a call here at the store at 608-241-4225. Thanks, guys. Bye.